After Charleston White got arrested, Lil Woody jumped on a podcast interview to expose that Charleston was in his DM asking him to help him out with his $10,000 bond. Woody also said that Charleston White is dealing with karma for trying to set him up after he found a tracker inside his vehicle. This made a lot of social media users started speculating that Charleston White sold his shame for asking his enemy for help. Some other people also started speculating that Charleston White was broke all this time if he has no $10,000 for bond, but will always be on the internet trying to crash out on Woody. Let me get you all the clips in a minute. Kindly smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out this clip. Bro, come. Charles White is dealing with come. Oh. That nigga DM me this morning talking about get him $10,000. He you know, DM you from jail. They need the money. So he had the manager to do it, I guess. <laughs> oh, bring it. <laughs> <laughs> they need 10000 to get him out of jail. I told y'all, the man's struggling, man. He's doing two, three, two, three thousand dollar interviews. His numbers went up when he was with me. Mm. But he tried to play me. Hey, man, it's no money for everybody. I keep telling everybody that. Hey, man, get the money. Don't mess with me. I've been going through too much for people to keep trying to mess with me. Defend myself. Especially to my... Is it true? Um, is it true you asked Woody for ten thousand while you were in jail? Uh, how I'm gonna call Woody from ten thousand? How I'm gonna call him from jail? And I've been talking about his dead mama. So you think I'm gonna go? You think I'm gonna miss Sean Cotton? I got Aiden Ross calling. I got Sean Cotton calling. I got Willie calling. Uh, I got Shannon Sharp calling. I mean Shannon Bree calling. Uh, I got Rollo them calling. You think I'm gonna call? And I just got through talking about his dead mama. And call him he... for ten thousand. I got the money. I went and I got, here. This all this go right here. I went to jail with that in my pocket. I had a no bond. So how can I call him on a no bond? I had no bond. The judge violated my bond conditions for smoking weed. So I don't have a bond. So the judge say his ass go stay in there for the weekend. We'll talk about it on Monday. The judge gave me a bond Monday night. So how how can I call him? How can I use that jailhouse phone that only goes to the people that's on your visitation list? How you call that? I think he got a DM from a fake account, but he I, thought it was but, you. but what fake account? I don't have an account. I don't have an Instagram. I, I'm on DM. But why would I call a nigga who I talked about his dead mama and his baby? I've been talking about his baby before I went to jail. So why would I call him? That don't even make sense. Just lying, my nigga. And you called him. You called directly to see what I need. Not just you. The Memphis basketball player showed up to make the bond. Memphis basketball player show up unexpectedly to come make the bond. Him and his girl. So, man, what I'm gonna call that ain't got this kind of bond money? And he on probation. So how he go send to how he go send this bond money? My bond, ninety thousand dollars. How he go send this money? How he go make it? He don't have a debit card. He don't even have a debit card. So how he go make the bond? And why would I call? But all these people, my wife made twenty thousand. I gotta do it, just book an interview. Hey, Sean, I, come on now. And you call it. So why would I overlook you? Hell yeah, tell Sean Cotton I need it. Hell yeah, tell Aiden Ross I need it. Aiden Ross got $40,000 for me in, in old payment. So why can't say send that 40, Aiden? I already know when I get out of jail, I'm sitting in jail saying shit. It'll be about $40,000, $60,000 in interview money. I already know this. So, but then I already know I can't get out of jail. Nigga, the judge mad at me. I violated these bond conditions twice. So I just got out of jail last month for smoking weed. So this is my second time. So the judge said, man, uh, had you not caught that first dirty UA, I will honor this card. But this your second, Charles, I ain't honoring that card. Seemed like you trying to, so yeah, nah, homie, he spiked me. And I had to respect it. It looks like Lil Woody has been lying to us if everything Charleston White said on this clip is true. Because I was also wondering, where is all these people Charleston has been doing business with? I also called out his wife, trying to find out if she has no money to bond his husband out of jail. I don't want to believe that Charleston White has not been investing all these thousands of dollars he makes from doing interviews. Now let's get back to Lil Woody. I understand you want to retaliate and also talk crazy about Charleston, but at this point is a little bit too late, because we already see you as the honest guy with principles in this whole situation. You gotta keep responding to Charleston White the way he cannot comprehend because he's way smarter and more intelligent than you, so he will like to utilize every opportunity he gets to make you look like you're lying on him. The best way to go is to ignore him at all cost. That will make his clout die down quickly, and we can move on to the next thing. 
One thing that makes Charleston White so powerful and controversial on the internet is that he knows how to get the attention whenever he speaks. That's a very strong weapon we have as humans. But the problem with that is the way he uses that power to manifest negativity in our society. Because the negativity in the world is stronger than the positivity therein. Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Additionally, always keep it locked in with Word on the Street channel for all of the latest news surrounding Lil Woody and Charleston White. Finally, stay with us for everything else going on in the world of music and pop culture. I don't like these kids. We don't like you. I don't like her. We don't I don't like, like you. oh, what am I saying my head for? <laughs> who, hey, come here. Who kids are y'all? Sure, red daughter. Okay, Get me out the camera, please. Put the camera right on you so you I said something. I love those kids. <laughs> Baby kids, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah. Who? Who you said? <laughs>